Hey guys, I try and look back with my review of um, Elimination Chamber 2015 WWE pay per view, which just went off the air about uh, two minutes ago. Um, gotta say, this show was a huge disappointment. I mean, I guess we all got our hopes up uh, way too high for this pay per view. I mean, I mean, pretty much all the matches were as were pretty good, but um, we expected most of them to be at least four stars. Uh, though the main event was awesome, except for the BS ending, which I'll talk about in a minute, which kind of brought down the rating, my rating for the match. So anyway, um, we'll get the... Um, the pressure match. I'm going to talk about the pressure match, and we got Stardust versus Zack Ryder. Um, this show, this was a fun match. This was a fun match for what it was. I mean, um, you can't really expect too much from pressure matches. I mean, that's just going to be like just fun for the, uh, just fun before the show actually starts. I mean, and uh, so yes. Um, uh, Stardust got the win uh, after hitting the crossroads on Ryder and pinned him for the count. And that was a good match for what it was. I give it two stars. A good two stars, though. Not a negative two stars. But, um, yep. Anyway, uh, and then. Then, of course, we get uh, Daniel Bryan's interview with The Miz on Miz TV, which was awesome. It's actually way better than I thought it would be. I mean, um, you know. Because, uh, uh, you know, Bryan ended up beating up those guys. And, um,. And, well, no, he didn't end up beating up the Miz. He actually got, uh, Hulkamania, no, not Hulkamania, Axelmania and Damien Macho Mando, um, to come in and, uh, beat up Miz. And, uh, Brian, in the end, got cheered for, which was awesome. And, uh, once that ended, the show officially began. Where we got uh, uh, where we kicked off with the tag team elimination chamber match. Now this match was a huge disappointment. I mean it was pretty good, but uh, like I said, expectations were way too high. I mean, um, <coughs> they uh. I mean, the match was kind of slow. I guess the crowd's to blame with some of these matches being disappointing. I mean, they the crowd sucked on this pay per view. The crowd sucked. No one can deny that. I mean, seriously, make the match awesome by cheering loud. The crowd was dead throughout this match and the pay per view. I mean, don't get me wrong. In this match, there were some really good um, high spots and stuff, but I thought they didn't use the chamber enough, and, um, I think near the end it felt like they just wanted to, like, get the match done, it was like, alright, we're done here, and the New Day, uh, actually retained the title, Tag Team Championship, which, um, which I didn't want, I mean, honestly, I wanted Tyson Kidd and Cesaro to win, but... Uh, they got eliminated, of course, um, which uh, kind of sucked. But what can you do? I mean, <coughs> and uh, yeah. And then we get the Divas Triple Threat. Uh, pretty much how you expect, just a filler match. Nikki retain the title, whatever. Star and three quarter. Next, we get Kevin Owens versus John Cena. Okay, before I reveal this match, I will just say that this match was a huge markout moment at the end. I mean, Kevin Owens 
beat Cena clean. That was awesome. I mean, I'm a huge John Cena fan, but Owens deserved to win. And they're actually going to do a rematch at um, Money in the Bank, which I'm looking forward to a lot. I mean, this match, I expected it to be a bit better than it was. There were so many near falls in this match. I haven't seen uh, this many near falls in any WWE match, honestly, since uh, WrestleMania 25, Take It vs. Shawn Michaels, which is amazing. But, um, yes, this match was very good. Uh, maybe my expectations were a bit too high. I mean, it's not a four star match like I hoped. Four stars or higher, I'm going to give it three and a half stars for the. Uh, all of the kickouts and the sudden so shocking victory by Kevin Owens. Um, see ya. Yep, so that was a pretty good match. Three and a half stars. Oh, and uh, three and a half stars uh, as well for the tag team chamber at the start. Next, we get Bo Dallas versus Neville. Um, this match was okay. It did what it needed to do. Never got the wind with the red arrow, I think. And they brought outside the ring for a little bit. Then they got back in. Never got the win after hitting his finishing move, I believe. Um, okay, match two and a quarter. Next, we get the Elimination Chamber match for the vacant WWE Intercontinental Championship. Um, Rusev actually got injured and could not compete in this match, which, uh, which, uh, sucked because I was looking forward to seeing him, and he was replaced with Mark Henry, and, um, yes, this match was probably the fastest paced, uh, match of the night. Uh, actually, no, I, I take that back. I give that to the main event, being the fastest match of the night. But, um, and, uh, some of the best spots. Um, uh, what's his name? I think, yeah. King Barrett, uh, smashes Dolph Ziggler into Mark Henry's pod, and he actually broke the pod. And Mark Henry actually got in early, which was really cool. And um, Seamus actually uh, um, got stuck for a while, like about maybe four minutes. Actually, a lot longer, but at least five full minutes, I'd say. And he got out by himself using his cross. You know what I mean. And he didn't win. Everyone expected him to win. Ryback actually won. And, um, what's his face? Daniel Bryan actually passed the championship to him, saying he deserves it. And that was really cool. And, uh, cool but shocking. I originally uh, didn't like uh, Ryback winning, but I thought about it. I thought it was a good finish. I mean, it's better than you know, just expecting, um, uh, uh, who you thought was going to win to win, because they shocked us by getting right back to win, was a great, was a pretty good match, um, I give it three and three quarter stars, um, very good, then we get the, oh, and that was the second best match of the night, then we get the main event and the match of the night, um, Seth Rollins, defending against the numbers. This match was awesome. This match was epic. There were lots of back and forth action. You didn't know who was going to win, who was going to be who, and uh, there was a lot of great technical wrestling and a lot of outside brawling as well. Some really big knockout moves. And, um, but the ending, well, the ending, the original ending was awesome, but... They fucking... Dean Ambrose should have won the title. He originally won the match. But, uh... That was fucking stupid. I'm so pissed off. 
that Ambrose did win because he deserved the title. Uh, they better give him a rematch of Money in the Bank. If they don't give him a rematch of Money in the Bank, I'll fucking flip. But, um, the ending. Okay. Near the end, Rollins pushed the referee to stop Ambrose from doing a high flying move onto him. And then Ambrose ended up hitting the ref. And then, um, then the match continued. Then they brought out for a little bit. Dean Ambrose did a big move on Seth Rollins. He pinned Rollins 1, 2, 3 when another ref came in because the other ref was knocked down and he won the match. But, uh... Is... You know... But, um... What was I talking about? Uh, yes, Ambrose originally won the match. Then the fucking crybaby referee, original referee, came back saying that uh, Dean Ambrose did win the match, but it was by disqualification. Yes, you heard that. Because Ambrose hit the ref, which was totally Seth Rollins' fault, so he should have gone to win the title anyway. I mean, that should be the DQ on Seth Rollins' part, you know? It was still an awesome match. If it wasn't for this ending, I'd give it four and a quarter, maybe even four and a half. But the ending just pissed me off so much, I'm going to give it four stars. I mean... Just... I wanted Ambrose to win the title so badly, I mean... <sighs> anyway, um, Dean Ambrose, um, uh, actually Roman Reigns came in and beat the crap out of him. Everyone, except for Dean Ambrose, and Dean Ambrose left with the title, <laughs> kind of like what CM Punk did at Royal Rumble 2013, you know, after his match with The Rock, so that was cool, uh, but, um, yes, um, but that was still a good pay-per-view, Really disappointing in my opinion, but it was still pretty good. I'm sorry if I stalled a bit too much in this review, guys. Really sorry about that. Um, I really need to get back into the reviewing spirit. Really, I do. But, uh, so that's my review of Elimination Chamber. Leave your thoughts below if you watch Elimination Chamber. Tell me what you think. And um, I'll see you next time for Money in the Bank.